بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته peace and blessings upon you all the students today we're gonna deal with uh, inheritance and before we you know jump to the inheritance we got to learn a few things here so what you're gonna do is uh, I've already created a, this is a package you know then the class A I have created for example first thing is let me have a public class Junaid, right? This will be a test class in which we have a public static void main because the first control goes to the void main and something you write here that will get run. So if you want to call some class or do something, just start from doing here. So what I'm gonna do here is I will create of this type A an object OB is equal to new A. Now what happens is when an object is created so what is this line all about let's first discover this line all about so let me draw it uh, diagrammatically now what will happen here is this is my stack and this OB is here for example this OB is here okay now what will happen is in a stack in a heap we have a free memory error heap wherein we create the memory for the objects this new is the actually which creates me the object in the heap this is for example that object and it has all st the things which A has the class A has maybe it's uh, data members data methods and all its methods and data members they will be all here right and this has some errors some base errors okay and this OB basically is pointing to this object so this ob is a reference variable here as you could see here this ob is a reference variable which actually can take the address of an object uh, which is of type a okay so that's what we are doing here and in a stack here first thing will be the this the this is the address of the current object Maybe before that we will have the errors of the main even the main function because this the main is called so main will be here and then it will be this and then it will be OB a reference variable which is pointing towards the object in a heap right now question arises that how we create our uh, object the object is being created by calling a default constructor not necessarily that we create a default we can have a parameterized constructor uh, by which we can call our uh, we can construct our object right so basically here new a is calling a default construct this time but I'm not having a default constructor here but if I can put in my no parameterized constructor so this call becomes an explicit call to that constructor so this is a and a constructor here and I'm saying here system dot out dot print on something uh, like this is A's constructor default constructor of A now what will happen here is uh, a call will be made to this class right so I create an object a call will be made to the default constructor of this class so s to recaps it's a class name and if I give it a go I say f6 on net net beans id e and you will see uh, uh, this this piece of code will run automatically because uh, whenever you run a default constructor it basically calls the uh, when, whenever you create an object it calls a default constructor as you can see here default constructor a is created but it's not a big deal now what happens is if we create another class for example I'm creating a class B okay and this extends extends is a keyword to say compile that whatever is in this class which I have written as a class whatever it has put all those things in a class B means B will inherit everything from Papa the Papa of B is a but um, those things are private in the class A or something like constructor they will not get inherited okay so but other than that maybe A has something say 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 it has 
integer variable a for example okay now uh, this a belongs uh, I'm, not, I'm not writing here something it's 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 default then so if you don't write an access modifier so it is a default isn't it so that means a package level access so this can be put in here no problem whatsoever now the b has also this a and maybe b has some integer variable c now b has a as well as c is it or not good so let's uh, keep it in a good way maybe this is a person class okay this is a a maybe a student class a student is a person isn't it and uh, extends person now in a person class we can have the things are common like we have a string name and we have something address or something else or like that let us be string name okay and here we have the uh, what's what's that uh, a student extends person and maybe it has a rule number students has in addition to the in addition to the um, name it need to have a roll number now edish uh, that should be n roll number so what it will do is the student basically has both things the name from the person class we can have 10 20 things are common here they can go all into the roll number okay now I, I I try to create an object of the student class so let, let it be a object of the student class ob is equal to new student and when I say new student it will call to the we will call the default constructor of a student and I'm not having any default constructor so compiler will provide me default constructor for student but the problem here is that before you construct a student you have to first construct a person class we have one more issues here because this is not now a this is a this is a person class so constructor name should be same as a class name isn't it so here we go it fixes now question is that you will create a student class but it extends a person class and it takes all what it has in a person so get it into the student but if the the person class is not being created it's not having any life because I'm creating only here as you could see the object of a student class so who has got the life only student not a person so how can it extend something which is only an imagination which is not real into the student so compiler does what it on behalf of us it starts creating first the person then the student right if I create here a, a for example a student class like this I will, I will just put in this copy it here and paste it here control V with a name here student the student is the uh, class name so so that means constructor should be also student and I'm saying uh, default constructor of student and here I will say default constructor of a person right getting me or not so what will happen now so when I'm creating an object of a student class it basically starts calling a default constructor of student but before it starts constructing student it has to construct a person so it goes how a object is uh, constructed by calling its constructor so it will call the constructor of person class here so how it does it the compiler will put in here a super call a super means uh, the Def the constructor here I'm not having parameters so default constructor of a super class that's a parent class so this is there if you write it or you don't write it a compiler will provide a super call that that means before we gonna create a student class we gotta create a person class so person class will be created first okay even here is a super call now what the heck why will here be a super call can you tell me yeah because who is the parent of person because super means call the parent class of a class this time I'm in a person class if here I'm in a student class I comp compile call the super the parent of the super student that's person but who is the super or parent of a person 
Yes, there is one class. You gotta remember that. It is called the object class. Object class is the parent of all classes in Java. So it landed into the uh, into the courtyard of the object class and then comes back from the object class into the person class and starts printing out this means constructing the person class. Then when it's finished uh, done all the job of the person so person is alive now it comes to the student because student is ready to go because person is already being made. Now when the person is made you can inherit things from the person into the student and now it starts printing it. So if we give it a go what do you what, what do you say? Who will be printing first? A default constructor person class or default constructor student class? yeah person class first so what happens a story as we we'll see here person class first then student from the here it will call the default class of student but it calls the you know person class and so on now what else if we have another class like a multi-level inheritance in multi-level inheritance a uh, person gets inherited into the student student gets inherited into some other class say for example it is a it is a some special student maybe something like a distance student or regular students so we can have students of many types that he is a distance student he is a regular student he is a casual he is something like that so I, I will create one, one, one more class here we says me he's a reg student not a rugged student, rather a rugged student or something else. And it extends, not from a person, not a need, because person is already in a student, and rank student needs something from the student and also from the person, so it will inherit from the student. Now this is multi-level. This is multi-level inheritance, because this guy is uh, inheriting from the student and student is inheriting from a person so multi-level inheritance right getting me or not so what I am saying is that what is in a person class okay what is in a person class that goes into the student class but what is in a student class now that goes into what the another class what is that oh oh It's not getting down. It goes into the what's called as uh, the reg student class, right? So that means if I create here a object of a reg student, I'll guess now as you can see here, I, I, I have created a reg student here, a constructor. So when I create a, there's some issues here. Um, let me see what's happening here. I guess one breeze is missing here after this guy. We'll fix up. Yeah. So what I'm saying is I am creating an object of the reg student class. It's gonna create a default class of reg student. That's here before it starts constructing reg student. What you gotta do? It's it has to, you know, create first the student because it's extending from student so it goes back to the student the student itself extends from person so before it starts creating the student it has a call to the super a person here's also a call to the super if you write or you don't write it is there to call the default construct of a super class so it goes into the person student class and it goes to the person the person goes into the object class the super daddy of all the classes in the java and then Coming back from the super daddy, it goes to the person, starts printing out this, it goes in the student, starts printing out this, and so on, and last it prints out this. So if we give it a go, so who will be first printed out? Differently, default constructor of a person, then student, then reg student. Even though it has gone from the reg student into the student, then from student to person, and from person to the object class, but when it comes back, it starts constructing the person class. So it starts writing out this piece of code then it comes back to the student class and then comes back to the reg student class so this is how you know uh, objects are created and the constructs are being called what else if I have you now the um, what I'm gonna say is uh, parameterized constructor so if I'm ha having here some parameters constructors so it will have some problem um, let me let me see there are a lot of things to discuss for example, a string name, and I got here a person constructor. 
default constructor which is taking the string name maybe it's saying string n and putting in here that name is equal to n right similarly I am having a student who was having a roll number something I don't yeah here's roll number I say in this um, integer r and and then I say roll number roll number is equal to r now put it into the roll number the r but here you could see immediately a complaint because it's trying to create a person with a super call to the default constructor but we don't have any diamond default constructor here now you may argue that compiler will provide default constructor for you but if you have already put in your constructors any sort then compiler will pull its hands off and say do it yourself I'm not going to give you any sort of constructor so that means if you want to create a default constructor here then you uh, I'm going to say if you want to create this person object with the default super call then you got to have a default constructor here so for example I have a person with a default constructor like this then it does not have complaints as you could see this will vanish the complaint of the super is vanished but I don't want that I want to have a parameterized call I will tell you in a moment but uh, I'll come here this is again a problem because the super is calling the default constructor but I'm not having any default constructor here so in a rank store maybe I have something like uh, a regular student has something special maybe he has what can a regular student have can you tell me hmm. but he can only listen ah you can't even give me the hints oh god but uh, what a regular student ah my mind has stopped working let me something um, let me think what can a regular student have maybe he has attendance uh, maybe I say int attendance or something attendance attend attend whatever he has uh, in addition to the name roll number he has an attendance okay and we have regs to constructor which is basically trying to uh, fix this attend so I'll say int at e and then we put in this ate and the attendance is equal to eddy now when I create an object okay I can I can I can put in all the things because this reg student has all the things it has name it has roll number it has its attend his own attend roll number from the student class and uh, uh, the name from the person class it has all these things which I can use here but uh, then it will not be a beneficial thing in case of inheritance because I would like to do things here for the name and later on use all those things so don't repeat it in the reg student or because uh, I, may, I, may, I, may, I may be using all these things in other classes also so better to, if, if I want to get name for example or something use that thing here only okay and uh, not in the uh, base class because I could have 10 base classes for example then I have to use all that code in all the base classes to get the name now that I will get name it for once here and then inherit to the base club to the derived classes say you have 10 20 derived classes they all will use this code so I have to write it only once this will give me a good thing isn't it okay nice boys so how to do that I will say here when I call the rank student it's going to come complain again because it's calling the default constructor but I'm not having a default constructor here so rather I will send it everything I will send it a name like a short name mine give it a quick go roll number something like say 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 hundred and what was that next thing what was that what was that oh attendance maybe some persons it's it's it's, it's hundred person okay so maybe I will give some roll number some better roll number maybe my roll number one one roll number first position okay not a bad thing now this guy should go to the to the this guy but this is a mismatch isn't it because this constructor takes only one argument and here we have three arguments so better I will put it here all the three arguments to get the trick in so I will say a string type n and a double or what was that roll number? int int type r and int type at 
Now it doesn't have any complaint because this guy will go into this, no problem. Geneva into N, 1 into R, 100 into AT. And I will do what? I will say get this N and R to the super, right? And get this at end AT. This AT will be given to your guy because your baby is at end. Give him the AT, which is that's 100, go to the AT, 100 percent in dense. Oh uh ho. -huh. Then this R and N, send it to the super. Who is the super? The super constructor, but it's this time not a default constructor, this parameters constructor. So my parameters constructor here, it need to be the student need to be parameters constructor. It's taking only one thing. It should take two things. So string N. I can reuse the N, no problem. Because N and R are the local variables. Now it doesn't have a uh, problem here because this super got uh, got you call this 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 student right but keep one thing in mind that the compiler will, uh, is not going to uh, supply you with this type of super because he never knows what kind of argument is going to pass so if he at all sense it is the default super call right without parameters now and here I'm putting this R into the roll number but I should send this string n to the upper class because this is not my dolly. It's 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 it's, it's the job of the uh, job of the daddy on the top. So better you send this n to the super. Now now now, and I'm having already a person which can take a string n right, and that can put in the n of a name. Is it a good thing or not? So what I'm doing is I'm sending the three guys to the base class, and out of three. It has to. It, it it will use only the AT. Okay, these guys to send to the super class, and in a super class they can take it. Super class constructor will take these two guys, and out of the two, R will be used to the roll number. That's his 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 guy. That's roll number here, and but this N will be sent again to the top. Okay, then to the top will go to the string N. This N will be put in the name, so every guy is happy and super. We'll call here the object class, which has nothing to do. Um, it's only because super class is super daddy of all the subclasses. So every class is subclass of a of a super daddy, right? The, and now, so we are having a hierarchy uh, from a super daddy object. We, something is getting inherited. That's person that you know puts all those things in the, this is being extended by the student class the student inherits from the person class right so student is a person so and reg student is also a student so what's happening here is student is a reg student is a student but student is a person and person is an object wow what a hierarchy so that means every class is having some father so before you start creating the reg student object right that means it will call here but before it starts constructing the reg student it need to construct the construct the student that means because you can't create a child without a father isn't it you need to have a father first created then God need to create a father first then it can create a child right or not but if it's a Jesus Christ oh Alayhi then it's a different story so don't worry about that things right so I'm not talking about Mother Mary or like that. I'm talking of the real world. Now, we guys, common guys, uh, need a parent. So, if he's saying that it's inheriting, that that's what he's saying, it's inheriting from the parent. So, first parent need to be created. So, it jumps to the student. Student again has a parent. Oh my God. So, first a person should be created. And a person can be created only when there is an object class. So, the hierarchy is from the object. Should I write it? So here we go. We have on the top the object class, right? And the object class is super daddy here of my person class. And a person class is a daddy of the which class? A student class. And a student class is a daddy of what? A, 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 a something regular student class, right? Or e.g. reg student class right so you are trying to create an object with the reg it goes to the student and then from student goes to the person from person goes to the object it comes back from object to the person starts pretty constructing the person come person complete go to the student student complete go to the reg so it's like that it's going 
from bottom to the top then starts constructing and printing out all the things from the person to the student to the rack right only thing we uh, got to do here is to print out so we'll do something to print out things okay and I'm saying here for example I'm saying return the string top and uh, uh, name it as a get name function or something okay uh, when I put this name in the proper camel casing so it's a name like this good boy and uh, you got return something from here return r-e-t-u-r -E and return the name it's giving the name right I will just copy it because I'm a very lazy guy and uh, control C and in this class I will have some function also uh, control V but it's not a get name it's a get role number maybe get R I will say in a simple and it should not it should it should, it should be int as a default uh, as a return type and I will, I will I will I will return me the role number okay fine and in the reg student i will again have a something which can show me this attend and uh, how, how how i will do it using control v but uh, it's again having the integer data type return type and it should be get something as what is that attend get a i'm saying okay get a get attend and return me the attend that is A T E N D attendance, and in a, in a, in a because I'm I'm, I'm returning all the things I'm, I'm returning the guys from the classes, so but I got to catch them because I'm returning things, so I need to catch them, and how I catch it using the system dot out dot println, right? So control C and control V it here quickly, not taking so much time, and I will say here, uh, you are rb object dot whatever the function is get name so I get name here we go to get name okay plus maybe some spaces plus then what ob dot uh, we have get a the roll number is it okay it will go out of the screen so better I will put it on a side oh -ho. damn here we go and uh, I will concatenate it with some more spaces and then I will put in ob dot uh, what is that get at end something get a get a already done now what's the next thing get r some roll number right and a terminator to fetch it hey I forgot to put in plus sign so this will fix me no complaints oh ho, no complaints at all so here we go we're finished so now I get I, I give it a go yeah yeah I give it a go and I think it will run oh for all money it will run and it will go from top to the from bottom to top then from top to bottom start constructing at the end it's pretty me out uh what i it's what i have what what i have given the data right so i think this is uh, very easy but if you can't get it then what do you do um i'll give a tip you will do something like 100 push-ups okay or not good so suicide mm -hmm. okay um, okay, I will tell you. You gotta recap it. You gotta check out all your constructors and all, and then come back to it, and you will get it. So, stay tuned.